Welcome back, everyone, to the Zach and Ryan Show. Another episode, and we are we are back with Zach today. How you doing, Zach? Oh, it feels it feels good to be back. You know, last time I was in the uh, in the guest the guest seat. You know, I had Ryan, uh, I had Ryan Gruka take my seat for the day, and it feels good to be back in the in the talking chair. That's great. That's great. Well, we are joined by uh, one of our BPA members down in Grand Rapids, Havesh Kohli. How you doing, Javi? Good. How are you guys? Oh, we're doing great. We're, we're down pretty. Here. We're pretty good. You know, we're at school while you're. Uh, yeah, you're not here. A quick question: Did did it <laughs> snow? How much did it snow up there? Because we got we got a little bit of snow down here. Yeah, we got a little bit, like a couple inches. Yeah, I woke up and I was I was kind of depressed when I saw the snow. Yeah, so was I. I was not liking it. Uh, I got a really nice view from my room, so it looks really pretty. Oh. You uh, you on the water on the the river? I am. I am on the water. That's oh, that's nice. Nice, nice little area down there. Wish Grand I was Rapids, right now, Grand yeah. Rapids. Yeah. 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 All right, well, um, Javi, what what are you guys doing in BPA? What is this like regionals or like, is that how it works? Uh, this is a so the regional conference was actually back in January, and me and my teammate qualified for the state leadership conference, which is where we are right now. We're at the Amway Grand for the state leadership conference. So, how would you, how do you do to qualify? Are there different events? Because we know Science Olympiad has events. Um, all these other events have different events inside them. So, how would it work for BPA? Yeah, it's similar to like HOSA and DECA if you're familiar with those clubs. So you can choose from a bunch of events. And then if you qualify like in the top two for those events, you get to move on to the state conference. And then the same thing at the state. If you qualify in those for the top two, you get to move on to the national conference. So so what are the events like? Like what are you, what are you doing in your events uh, in, at states right now? So currently me and my partner Jillian are in the presentation management team and we're provided with a prop which was um, about the return to the workforce post-COVID. Mm-hmm. And so we have to create a presentation detailing what the workforce would look like after COVID is like mostly gone and how we would plan for a, an office building to return to work or like a company to return to work after COVID. So are you given this prompt like in advance following the regional conference? Or are you given this right when you get down there and you only have four hours to present, to prepare? Uh, we're actually given the prompt before the regional competition, and we prepare for the regionals. And then we just modify and improve our um, presentation for the state top ten. How, how long is the is this competition? Because you guys left yesterday, did you? Yeah, we left on Thursday during the middle of the day, and we'll be back around Sunday. So Sunday morning is the awards, and we'll be back after the awards. Oh, that's just a long time. So long how time. many uh, how many other schools are down there competing with you? Uh... Oh, there are a whole bunch. Like, the entire hotel is filled with schools. I'm not exactly sure how many there are, but pretty much the entire hotel is filled with BPA people. So is this, like, good for for you? Because you, I know you want to go to – you're going to Michigan. You're planning on going to Michigan, and you want to – you're doing yeah. – are you going into Ross? Yeah, I am going into Ross. How does this, like – you reaching any, like, meeting any new connections with people who could possibly help you with following – once you get into Ross and go to Ross, following, following you after college, the connections – well, I'm sure I'm making like plenty of friends down here who are also like like-minded people, and they also plan on pursuing business in their future. So mm-hmm. it's nice to be around these people and build these connections now, which may be useful later in my future. What's your uh, What's your pr- prediction? How do you How is it going so far down there for you and Jillian? Um, so far it's going pretty good. We've practiced our event and everything's looking good, and we were able to qualify for the national leadership conference last year. So I'm hoping to do the same again this year. So what what would nationals be like? What where would that take place? So we would have to fly out to Texas, Ooh. and then the national conference would take place in Dallas down there. So was uh you qualified for the national conference last year, right? Yep. Was it online? I'm assuming. Yeah, unfortunately, it was online. We didn't get to go anywhere, but it's still a cool experience to be a part of. Yeah. Do you, I know? I don't know how it works, but do you? Kit teams who qualify in the previous year, do they have a better chance of requalifying again this year? Or is it like clean sl- clean slate? Um, not necessarily. The teams who qualified in the previous year do have an edge in terms of like experience because they've done the event before. But other than that, everyone gets a new prop and everyone's given like the same equal chance to qualify. What I do like is how they how they made this new prompt. Because a couple years ago they couldn't ask about what um how would the workforce be after covid so i like how they adapted like what's going on with the world into these prompts right it's always like a modern prompt like previous year it was like about something related to covid as well but just like a different prompt that also Mm -hmm. forces people to think new 
and like adapt to that prompt. So, so give us give us an insight. How how would a workplace or should a workplace adapt to this new post COVID era? Um, so, mine and Julian's proposal was using a hybrid method, which is the most common method right now in most workplaces because it gives employees the option to either work from home or come in person, whatever suits their needs. And I think that's the best option because we haven't seen drops in rates of productivity as employees have started to work from home. So there's no need to force them to come in person when they're not gaining any productivity. Yeah, that's makes sense, actually. A lot of companies you see now are, well, and it helps, I think, being able to online. And I think COVID was good and bad in some ways. I mean, you can work in Michigan, but you're, your company you work for is in California. I think yeah. it's definitely a lot of jobs are now yeah, adapting exactly. to online work. Yeah, or you're working what so. like three days at home and then two days in Cause, person. Because most most jobs, uh, like when you go into your office, it's on a computer anyway. So like, why why exactly. we've not been working from home all this time? Why do we have to go into a a office to do this mm-hmm. work when we could just sit at home and and, and work at, at home? It just never made sense. Exactly. Well, right, Javi, Javi Ryan's got one more big question we got, for you. We got the big question for you. How, right, was the, it, how was the workout? The workout is good. It's still going. Um, oh. I'm actually still at the gym right now. What's it? Yeah. What's it today? Legs, backs, arms, chest? So I'm doing an Arnold split. So today is shoulders, triceps, and biceps. Ah, upper body today. All right. I like yeah. it. I like it. You got to look swole for, uh, yeah. swore for uh, your presentation. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Javi, uh, thank you for taking time out of your workout to uh, to join us today, and uh, best of luck and uh, bring us home bring us home some trophies. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for having me. See ya. Bye. Man, I wish I could be skipping school right now. Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it's cool that they're talking about real life situations, yeah. you know. I wonder yeah. if I wonder if any of these ideas that these students come up with are actually ever used. Yeah. Cuz like it it really it's something that you can't just look up in the internet. You know what I'm saying? No. Cuz it's like, created from you what exactly, you think. Exactly. Exactly. Cuz you you can't just look up this prompt on the internet cuz it's not it, it's it's kind of a new a new like very, prompt. Very new. So it, there's not going to be much on it and people are, may, maybe have done studies on this, but not not much where you can just look it up. So it, it all comes with the creativity of how how the these students are are gonna make their presentation? Plus, you're taking it from a young student's yeah. like mindset, not yeah. from someone who's been working in corporate yes. for fifty years, yes. and the only way they know it is going into it's, the office. You're yes. working from a student who last year they we kind of dealt with the hybrid. Mm-hmm. I was in I was online all year, but I know you went. Yeah, in I went person, in. I went so in all the days that I could. So that was a hybrid experience, and I think definitely um. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, yeah, I mean we we've, we've grown up with technology all our life, so I we we would definitely have a different opinion than someone who is maybe like seventy years old who mm-hmm. who is just getting kind of introduced to technology. Definitely, uh, definitely be interesting next couple of years to see what yeah. happens. I definitely think you'll see more of. I think this allows more expansion of companies. Um, you can hire people from different states, bring them in. Yeah, yeah. and there's so many different pieces of technology out there now we got team microsoft teams you got zoom um you just got all kinds of different pieces of technology that can help all all the ways we can video chat it's just the future it's Mm -hmm. just all technology so yeah so um what we got going on next week ryan we got go, we got we got tryouts for for all the spring sports. We got we, we got, got track. girls lacrosse. We got track. We got s- gr- girls soccer, boys and girls lacrosse, boys golf, girls tennis, baseball, softball. I know baseball, they're softball. They're a little later though because you can't really get out there in March. Yeah, Boy, boys and girls track and field. Am I right? Both. Yeah, I think. Okay, girls tennis. Girls tennis. Yep. And then water polo. Is water polo? I think water polo is a uh, spring sport, and we're lucky that one of our producers. Is Lance Harwood a varsity state finalist, right? You guys went to yes. states last year? Yes, we did. So you got anything to say for people who are looking out to try out for golf? Um, you know, honestly, golf is a sport that we don't really get, like, a ton of guys. Like, the, the competition, like, isn't really there right now. So, like, if you need a sport and you want to get outside, I mean, who doesn't want to be outside on a nice day on a golf course? Exactly. 
Pretty laid so. back practices, right? You Yo. know, you just oh yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing it's, wrong. You just play some fun. golf. Yeah, you yeah. do what you want. We play nine holes. You hit the range. I mean, yeah, and it's it's worth the money too. You you do the pay to play, and it it's worth it. You play some nice courses this year. Would you? Oh, are you guys still going out to Oakland Hills this year? You, you guys are playing um, the new course, or they they shut down the course after it. I, I think burned down. I don't know. Sadly, I don't. I don't think I don't we're think playing so. there. But I don't. I don't think we were going to anyway. No, we weren't. In in the past, we've tried to, but they always cancel on us because they say they have something that came up, which is yeah. You're not as important as the brother rice kids. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sadly, not. But I'll I'll play it one day. Just not with Athens golf. So what what are the trials looking like t- uh, next week? What what are the days? Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We got we got a good good forecast. So. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an interesting turnout because our we don't have really any returning varsities, just me and one other guy. So, I definitely think next week will be the most interesting weather for trials because last year spring sports got pushed back a week. So instead of yeah. being in the middle of March, there was that last week of March before spring yeah. break. Uh-huh. So I think this is right. This week, right now, this next coming week will be the most interesting weather-wise you'll see. Yeah, I was looking at the weather. Couple of couple days ago or a week ago, I was like, man, it's gonna be like forty degrees. And now it's looking like it's like now it's looking like fifty, sixty. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm I'm, happy. I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm looking forward to the trials next week. Well, thank you everybody for uh, tuning in. Lucky enough to have Javi take some time out of his day to call in. Lance, give us some update on what golf for golf, and then Monday, yeah, we got oh, we're man. gonna be picking our brackets for yep. March Madness. Yep, exciting um, time of the year. It is the best time of the year. It's either March Madness or it's March Sadness. Yes, exactly. And once again, good luck to everyone trying out for a sport next week. And then good luck to the the BPA uh, finalists. And see you next week. Yep, see you next week, guys. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. I'll say that's our best one.